Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I wanted to talk to you about a question that comes up a lot for me. Do you have to be a drummer to play the rap? And although there are a ton of different varieties of playing, um, some people play it more percussively, some people play the instrument more melodically, there's no correct way to play. Um, there, there's sort of techniques that are universally accepted in the community, but you're not playing incorrectly if you discover your own way of approaching this instrument. Um, it's solely something that you can use to express yourself in whatever way you see fit. So, in order to play this you need rhythm and some sense of melody, but you do not need to be a drummer. That said, again, rhythm is imperative if you're going to create something that has some sort of unity and solidity to it. Because if you're just wandering all over the place, um, that might not fit every situation. The sort of meandering, slow, rhythmless song might be right in a yoga studio. Uh, it might be right in an album where you're trying to create an ambient sound. Whereas if you're performing somewhere uh, that needs to be higher energy and faster paced, you may want to add some rhythm to that. Um, I think we all inherently have the ability to play rhythmically inside of us, whether that's on guitar, whether that's on a piano, whatever it happens to be. It, it, it's our human capacity to be able to play rhythmically. I think melody is something that not everybody has as great of a grasp on. I think rhythm is just inherent in our bodies, how we move, how we breathe, yeah, it's a part of our daily function. So the rhythm part of this is something that I think most people can access. Melody is something that musicians coming from another instrument like guitar or piano are going to have some better understanding about. And having an experience where you know how to write a song and tie all of those notes together and have resolution, um, have sort of a, a starting and ending place chordally, that's going to allow your listeners to be even more engaged with that sound. Um, so, and there's no wrong way of playing. Again, rhythmic players are people like Kabe Sao, uh, this amazing handpan player, Adrian Porsche. Um, a lot of players come from a percussion background. What's a little different about my playing, I, I appreciate percussion, I love drums, but my background is in world music. Uh, guitar, ngoni, saz, sitar. So when I'm writing a song on this, I'm thinking about it in terms of chord progressions. Um, and it's, it's not the right way to do it, but it's, it's a way that I'm able to create repeatable songs um, that have some sort of solidity to them. So that you can listen to them for a longer period of time, because it, it can be hard if there's nothing to tie everything together, whether it's a melody that you're, you're occasionally throwing in or not. Um, so I just wanted to address that with you so people feel more confident in picking up this instrument. You do not have to be a drummer. You do need some sort of rhythm, and you will certainly attain the ability to understand melody a little bit better, but these are designed so that you can pick them up and create a beautiful sound on them. Don't let people tell you you're playing incorrectly. Don't let people control how you're playing and limit your playing. It is up to you how you approach this. It's your instrument, your sound, and your expression. So I hope that clears that up. I'll talk to you guys next week. And the question of the week is, what sort of playing do you like the most? Do you like melodic playing or more percussive playing? So playing kind of like what I do with chords and repeatable sort of sound or percussion where it's fo focused mainly on the rhythm. Both are beautiful, both appeal to different people. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next week.